again. Uh, welcome back. I um, wanted to show you a little trick. Um, I saw Stephen Slate playing with a raven on a video and uh, how he could uh, control with a toolbar what tracks were in his view. Um, and I thought, well, that's obviously something you must be able to do in Reaper. So I did a little bit of investigation. So my this video about this isn't the first. I mean, the Reaper blog has a video about this. But I thought, I've discovered that I want to put it on my channel as well. So what I've got here is I've got this little toolbar up here to the right. Uh, let me bring it out. Um, yeah. Okay, so here we have it here. This is my little toolbar. Um, I'll pin it so it doesn't disappear again. Um, so what you can do with this now is I've got a little dummy project set up here, just in case you're wondering, this is just my mixer I've got floating in here. And then we've got all these tracks to the side that I've created some folders with. So as you can see, I've got my microphone track up at the top here that I'm recording into at the moment. If I hit my submix button, that disappears. So all it's showing now is everything that was in my submix. I can show just my drum tracks, just my bass tracks, uh, I've got no acoustic guitars in this one, but I can show my electric guitars and I've got some vocal tracks. And then you can show all tracks again. So it's a really nice way of navigating a project. Um, and yeah, it just makes life a lot easier. So I wanted to show you how to do this because it's not quite as straightforward as I thought it would be. I thought it would just be a case of making some custom actions and away you go. There's one stage before that. And then it is just making custom action. So let's just show you, um, if we go into options and go to the Show Reaper resource path in Explorer Finder, and up it comes. Now what we need is a little text file. And it's this one here. It's called rear console underscore custom commands. Custom commands, all one word. Very important how you name this, because if you haven't got it in there, you're going to have to create it. Very simple, just right click in this folder, go to new, new text document, and then name it that rear console underscore custom commands, okay? And it's as simple as that. So I'll get rid of that, don't need it, already got it. Now if we open this up, you wanna decide all the tracks that you're gonna to wanna to use and have separated. So as you can see here, I've got drum, bass, Acoustic guitar, electric guitar, vox, keys, MIDI, FX, and my submix, okay? So what you do is you put in a capital S, star, the name of the track or the group of tracks you're going to want to highlight, and then star again. Then each of these need to be on their own line. And then obviously you just click save and save that, okay? That's that done. So now what will happen is you have to restart Reaper and when you restart Reaper, in your actions list, you will, if you search for capital S and star, here's those console commands that you've just put in there. Okay, so you have vox, submix, midi, keys, effects, drum, bass, da da da. Okay, so now they are showing up as actions. So what we can do, if we close that, if we go into our action list again, sorry, I was already in there, and we go to custom, you can see I've made these already. But how to make them would be, you go custom actions, new, and then I'll show you the, the list of actions in a second that go in here. So if we cancel that, um, if I open up, see my vocals, we am going to edit. Here's the, the actions you need. Now, the only one that changes is this first one, which is run console command. In this case, it's S star, vox star. And that's the one that will open up my vocals. So the next slot is select children of selected folder track or tracks. Uh, then we've got an SWS again, show selected track or tracks in MCP and hide all the others. So that's to show it up in the mixer control panel and then it will hide everything else and only show whatever this group of tracks is, in this case, my vocals. I've also done this for the TCP as well, the track control panel, because 
it, it helps with, if I'm editing and I don't know why I would want to just see them in the mixer. If you just want to see those tracks in the mixer and still have the full project in your track control panel, just miss out this one. The t uh, show selected tracks in TCP. Or if you want it the other way around, then just miss out whatever one of these you don't want. Okay? Then you put in, it's a, a X in the course, I don't know how you say that, it still is. Scroll track view to home and another zing kiosk or whatever it is, um, select first of selected tracks. Okay, the scroll track to home, in the case of like, say for example, my bass tracks, if you look to the left here, they're way down here at the bottom. When I select them and show them, this will just lift them up to the top of the screen here. You'll see in a second. I'll show you how all this works. And then select first of the tracks, okay? So then what you do is just, you know, once you've done one, you can just copy it um, and you do it in here. You would select the one that you've made, press copy, then go in and edit it and, you know, and change that command to whatever the, the, you know, the drums or the bass, or whatever one your next one is, and rename it, because I've got this as Showvox Tracks, okay? And it's as simple as that. So then you've got these uh, uh, custom actions in your action list. So from there, if we go into our toolbar, we can customize our toolbar. So... I had one already for the mixer. I got rid of everything else out of it because I only wanted these commands in there. And then you just go add, find your custom commands, say your FX tracks, uh, and double click it, and in it goes. Okay? And then you build up your, your thing like that. And then you can select icons from your icon lists here to find you. You can use a filter, find whatever it is and choose your icons that you want to have. If you just want to have them as words, you can. I'll just remove that because I don't need two of them. And hit save once you're done. So we close that up and that leaves us with this little toolbar here. So as you can see, if I hit my submix, that will choose everything below this track or it's included in the submix folder. So if I hit submix, it chooses everything that was in my submix. If I show everything again, you can see this extra track that I'm recording my vocals onto. If I hit, I haven't got any acoustic guitars, so when I hit it, nothing comes up. It, you know, it does hide everything, give you an empty screen. Hit my electric guitars, and there they are. Hit my vocals, and there they are. Hit bass, there they are. My drums, hit there they are. And as you can see, they always show up up at the top of the screen here. So you're not having to scroll down to find them or, you know. So hit my submix, there they are, and I hit all tracks. Just a really, really cool little trick to navigate your project. And the biggest tip trick to it is knowing the, the custom actions to put in to make your custom action. And also that little text file in the in the Reaper installation folder. So I hope that was useful guys. And uh, I hope you use it and like it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers now.